So your weak ass has found yourself in a goblin attack. Stay calm, stay calm, do not panic, goblins can smell fear. I am a trained goblin professional and I know exactly what to do in this scenario. Although your instincts may be telling you to scream like a squirrel in a wood chipper and harness the karate skills you learned back in third grade, that is the opposite of what you should be doing at this current moment. While goblins are small and weak, if there is enough of them, they can do some serious damage to your property. Once these little icky dudes are in your house, they will start searching every nook and cranny of your residence to find your gold and or shiny things. That's why I at all times keep my shiny things and gold things in a safe, with the only key being surgically implanted into my neck, so that any goblin that tries to get into my goblin be gone patent pending safe will have to go through 10 layers of bug spray and sunscreen before tearing into my flesh. Also, if you get a safe, make sure to spread salt around it, because goblins need moisture, and if they come in contact with any drying agent, they turn into a raisin almost immediately. Okay, back to the present. There are goblins at every door and every window of your house. Hell, even some goblins are on your roof trying to tear off the shingles they just had replaced. What you need to do now is arm yourself with anything blunt. This means drumsticks, wind spoons, and anything that you can swing quickly with a lot of force. But range is also good, so sometimes, along with my blunt object, I arm myself with a long shovel or a belt for extra whackage. You are now armed with a weapon, but your squishy body is still very exposed. No, your creeper sweatpants and minion t-shirt will not be good enough to protect you. Yes, while your natural virgin stench deters them a bit, it will not be enough to completely stop them. You're going to need to go to your closet and find your dad's old leather jacket and wear the hell out of it. See, goblins can't penetrate leather. It's basically titanium to them. Now you're gonna need leather pants, but you probably don't have those if you're not a hooker. So the next best thing is jeans. Well, no, it's not the same caliber as leather, it'll still be hard for them to get through. It's about the same difficulty for them as it is for me when I try to open the tortilla chip bag at 4 a.m. Now that you're armed with a weapon and some armor, you need to find your pale ass some bug spray. Remember how I said that I cover myself with bug spray and lotion all the time? I do that because goblins are allergic to both of those things. When they eat that stuff, they swell like a balloon and pop within the next three seconds of them eating it. Okay, back to finding some bug spray. You're gonna need to find this stuff quickly, because speaking of quickly, goblins are quickly chewing through your door. And I estimate you only have about six minutes to get ready for a wave of bipedal rats attacking you at all angles. So stop standing in the middle of your kitchen and go find your sorry ass some bug spray. Don't get any of that spray sunscreen, because anyone who uses spray sunscreen in any capacity is a huge pussy. Okay, you got some bug spray? Good. Now, you're gonna need to set up some traps. Goblins are very easy to trap because they're incredibly stupid and don't really pay attention to the surroundings. I normally like to set up a bunch of traps that the Viet Cong used. Not life-sized, goblin-sized. I mainly use toothpicks and straws with a lot of hot glue. I've probably spent over $2,000 this year just getting supplies that I can use to trap goblins. And you probably will too, because you're about to go Rambo on these guys. I'm talking hiding in bushes. I'm talking setting up landmines. Anything to stop these goblins from getting to your sweet, sweet cheddar. And since goblins are basically stormtroopers, we're gonna exploit that. How may you ask? By setting up Tesla coils. Goblins are very easily killed with electricity. So just by using a bug zapper and lining the floor with copper foil, you can easily create a zone where goblins basically can't walk unless they risk being killed. Though buying a bug zapper just to kill goblins may be a little expensive for someone who uses bagels to make a PB&J sandwich. The next option you can choose is by getting a bunch of 9 volt batteries and wrapping copper wire around the two ends, creating an electrified tripwire. And yes, 9 volts is enough to kill a goblin. Another thing you can exploit is their moth-like mentality. They are very attracted to bright lights, none of that dim light bullshit. So what you can try is by going outside for once, digging a big hole, put a lamp in the middle of it, and then cover the hole with a bunch of sticks and leaves. And so the goblins run towards it without thinking what a lamp might be doing outside. After they fall in the hole, you basically have a stockpile of food. Every part of the goblin is edible, even raw. You just gotta cleanse it first. You can do this by cleaning it with a mixture of vinegar and spit. Oh, I hear a lot of screaming outside. You got that bug spray yet? Now I need to bunker down in your race car bed and get ready to fend off hundreds, even thousands, of fast-moving goblins. Here they come. Hey, dipshit, you still there? Oh, okay, good. Congratulations, you have survived your first goblin attack. Now that I have taught you how to survive a goblin siege, you can now go down and press the subscribe button. I normally charge $4.99.99 for a session, but I'm gonna give you a special offer because you seem kinda cool. Just subscribe and I'll let your family go. Now with that tutorial over, fuck you.